Yo, what is up? Buenos dias. I have traveled to Baja, California, where I found something very interesting. This little piece really stood out to me as unique, and now I finally understand why. The fact that it's so tangled adds this visual complexity that makes it kind of hard to process what you're even seeing. I'm going to explain why looking at something like this feels totally fine, but looking at something like this... What is even going on here? This is easy to wrap your head around, I assume, and this is next to impossible. This one is actually one closed loop that has been cut, knots have been tied, and then it was rejoined, so there's, there's no loose ends. You'd have to sit there and really stare at this, probably try to follow the line with your eyes. What are we doing when we're doing that? We're trying to form a mental picture. Forming a picture of this, or maybe even this, is no problem. We've seen it a thousand times, it's not very detailed. But can you picture something like this? What about this? That's getting a little bit harder now. Our mental models have severe limits. It's almost like visual complexity is on this continuum and beyond some point our mind fails to grab hold of what we're seeing. Our mental models also break when it comes to really large or small things. It's easier to imagine a couple weeks or months ago than a hundred million or so years ago since the dinosaurs were vibing. What about the scale of the solar system? It says here the average distance from the sun to the earth is 150 million kilometers and it would take an airplane 20 over 20 years to fly to the sun. Now that's a long flight. Let me go back to visual models. There's this autistic savant Stephen Wiltshire who can recall way more detail than the rest of us. He basically has true photographic memory. They could take him up in a plane for 20 minutes, fly him around the city, and he'd come back down and be able to draw the whole thing from memory in extreme detail. Why can't the rest of us do that? Well, obviously he's a special case, his brain is wired differently, whatever that means. But a deeper reason is nature and nurture. One, people weren't trained for it, and two, they were not evolved for it. And those are the biggest reasons why it's so hard for us to visualize detail. Oh my goodness lord. The number of dogs here is just... See, luckily I can edit this out. Are we done? Our mind is just as much a product of evolution as our body. It's purpose built for survival and propagation. Survival and propagation not just anywhere but in a particular environment. We were built for this intermediate scale of reality. What do I mean by that? Physically, we're at the scale somewhere between atoms and galaxies. Our eyes can only see within a limited range of the electromagnetic spectrum, which we call visible light. Our ears can only hear within a limited range of frequencies. And we can only feel within a limited range of temperatures. In the same way, our mind was only designed to grasp things at scales and levels of detail that are relevant to our lives. I hope that made sense. I'll end it there. Please share if you found that useful. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope to see you in the next one. Gotta go film some more plants. Peace.